Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Return to Monkey Island. We are in the Pirate Law Museum on Melee Island and we are about to try to steal this eye patch here, which used to belong to John Laney, but I think we can turn it into a disguise. The question is, how the hell do we get into it? So we've got this little parrot here. We're going to take a look around. We're going to try and figure out if there's any nice little Easter eggs and things here and then work out how to steal it, basically. So, tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind. Nice. Autographed by Francis Drake himself. I've been to the Golden Hind several times. Is this a left hook or a right hook? <laughs> that once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. Ah, oh, he's not here anymore? Oh, oh look, it's the coffin. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore. Yeah, the coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Yep. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. Yeah. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. Yes. I've got it under control. Have you though? Because we used that, so. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? <laughs> the recipient was referred to only as Plunderbuck. That's us. It's me. It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. Oh. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Oh, what's this? What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. <laughs> Okay, can we talk to it? It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. All right, let's not bother it. What's the story with the wanted poster? Yeah, we did that. That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. Well, you don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. Yeah, a lot of the things you got in here from our adventures. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. First game. It was found in the melee jail many years ago. After an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Nope. Hey, I did that. <laughs> I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs, and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Yeah. Not my greatest decision, in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. The eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. Do you now? Well, oh, look, it's the map as well. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. He was. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. <laughs> That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Yeah, you oh, really I should. Did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. Yeah, sure. It's, this is pretty much just the Museum of Guybrush then, basically. That's the note that Chuck left when he kidnapped Elaine. How on earth do you have that note? Oh yeah, that's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate the Chuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Yeah. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. <laughs> exactly. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures. Yeah. But somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits. No. And it's highly personal and different for no. everyone. No. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. No, you're, Fine. you're wrong. This is all our stuff. 
All of it. There's a storeroom over there. Okay. Uh, let's read the plaque on this. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Okay. Can we do anything with the lock? There's some very tiny writing on it. Right. So maybe we can make a key for this one as well. Uh, let's use our monocle. Mm, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Oh, okay. So it's still too small. That's interesting. Uh, oh, yeah. We've got the business card. Let's read it. Pirate Times. Editor Conrad Lee. Ready to publish your unrecognized genius. Okay, so we need to find something that can magnify those numbers even further to open that up. We can go into the storeroom. <gasps> it's the crackers, the parrot food. It's cracker mix. Some assembly required. Okay, can we take that? Yeah, we can. So maybe we can use that on the parrot in some way. Um, anything else in here? Let's just have a, a quick look around. I'm not seeing anything. I guess we need to mix it with water or something. Let's have a look. Read the label. Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. Okay, maybe we can just feed it to him. It doesn't seem interested. Oh, okay. So it doesn't seem interested, so we're going to have to do something else there. Can we open this? The display case is locked. Of course it's locked. Right, let's talk to the curator. I'm Guybrush Throughput. I'm Guybrush Throughput. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Oh my god. I guess you could say that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Why does no one give Guybrush the credit he deserves? I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent. Super retro. <laughs> if you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Do you? Your museum is uh, quaint? Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're <laughs> a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Yeah. Exactly. No, we, we are. Are any of these things valuable? Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. <laughs> okay. Let's suppose you have a map from a famous pirate swabby on display. I don't suppose you have a mop from a famous pirate swabby on display. I keep saying map. I've been trying to get the cook down at the scum bar to donate his, but he won't part with it. Do you know why it is? Because literally every Monkey Island game, there's always a map. And there's even a map in this one of the forest. So I'm just defaulting to map every time. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? Yeah, I tried that. If we needed a reason for a map. Tell me about that newsletter. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. Nice. Sounds pretty cool. I see you wear a peg leg. I see you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit. For the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a look around. around. Please do. We will. Can we? No, we can't take any of that. Maybe we need to mix something with the cracker mix to be able to get the, the bird to eat it then. Our next stop should probably be um, the scum bar, I guess, to find out about this mop in the kitchen. So that's what we're going to do next. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Low street, high street, the docks. Okay. Scumbar. <gasps> it's the loom guy! Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. <laughs> This place does seem different from what I remember. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. All oh, their highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. Yeah. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. Want to come? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. Want to come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought of. Hopefully not. But only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. I mean, we're going to have some things to, to say to Stan if that's true. Tell me about Loom. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. <laughs> Get lost. 
Does his badge say, don't ask me about loom? I've just seen it. Then why don't you take off the ask me about loom button? Then why don't you take off the ask me about loom button? My grog riddled body is fused. <laughs> I'm more button than man at this point. Right, okay. Come on, tell me about loom. Oh, come on. Tell me about loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> say it. Say it. No. Say it. <laughs> say it. Fine. Come on, do it. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. <laughs> Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Okay, I'll get lost. <laughs> Fan service achievement unlocked. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, I still haven't played Loom. Still, it will be coming as a Let's Play on the channel in the future, I promise. Still haven't played it. We will. It will happen, don't worry. Right. Can we get in here? I brush Threepwood as I live and breathe. How have you been? Pretty good. Fine, good, peachy, same old. Uh, we've been good. Good. How's Elaine? She was always my favourite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. <laughs> Sounds about right. She's good, no pieces missing, still in public service, fighting scurvy now. I screwed up our anniversary, of course you did. We're apart more often than I'd like. Um, yeah, I mean, she's in public service now. Still in public service, fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Yeah. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Okay. Do you, do you know where I can buy a mop? Do you know where I can buy a mop? Hi. You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Oh, God. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool <laughs> Fly. for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Right. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means <laughs> of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart <laughs> of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful One with so the mark. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. I bet it's in the forest. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Do we need a map to find the tree? Good Any throw. questions? Uh, yeah. How do I find the mop handle tree? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Right, right. Uh, okay. What kind of wood is the tree? What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. I I'm sensing a theme here, buddy. Uh, what about the head of the mop? What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Okay, fine. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. Yeah. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. Okay, I guess I'll do it. Guess what? What's wrong? You gave <laughs> the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. <laughs> when do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. Yeah. But first, I had to make a mop. <laughs> Making a mop, apparently. <laughs> it's going to go on our to-do list. Here we go. Make a mop. Find the mop handle tree. Our mighty pirate's to-do list is growing. Uh, can we abscond the mop? Stay away from my mop. No. Okay, fine. Who's that? Looks like a mugshot. Ooh, maggots. Active little guys, aren't they? Can we... No, we can't take them. 
Uh, okay, what else have we got here? We might be able to go outside. Ugh, the food, food is more stuff. exciting when you can smell the risk. <laughs> Gross. Impressive health department certificate. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. And you have a packet of stick-on stars. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, sniff that. Ugh. I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. Still the same food, is it? Uh, okay, so there's more about mops. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. <laughs> I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Okay. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Hopefully not. Frankly, I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. <laughs> That's probably true. Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm going to steal the chucks. Bold. I like your thinking. Okay, I think I hear the health inspector. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. Uh, that's kind of mean. Okay. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Can we Will go do. out here? Yeah, we can actually go out here. Ooh. Wooden seagull. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. <laughs> yeah, the good old sea. What is that thing? I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. String. Alright, well, we'll take the string. That could come in handy for something, I suppose. Alright, well. I wondered if we could look at that, but we can't. Uh, Alright, out we go. So, the string. How is that going to come in handy? I'm not too sure at this point. Have we been everywhere? I'm not sure if we have actually been everywhere yet. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. There's got to be something that we can use to to ultra magnify the the numbers on the case. But we'll try and figure that out in the next one because we are out of time. I am loving this game so much. It is fantastic. It's everything that I hoped it was going to be. I can't wait to play more every time I finish recording. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, and Hobo for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.